What happens in ceremony exactly? Can you describe it, please? Well, I assume that everybody knows what is ayahuasca. You know, ayahuasca is a tea. It's a, first of all, it's a plant. You know, the Banisteriopsis capi. It's a vine that grows in uh, in the Amazonian forest. And a tea is made of the Banisteriopsis capi with the Psychiotra viridis, which is a chacruna. It's actually the chacruna that contains the DMT, and ayahuasca contains the alkaloids and amylines that allows the DMT to be activated orally. So there's a very particular chemistry that happens in our human body when we drink the tea. And um, what does ayahuasca? Ayahuasca, uh, as a practitioner, helps you take a picture. Basically, you enter in a journey, in a trance, where part of the journey is, of course, to connect with the effect of the medicine, ayahuasca, which is a lot of fractals and, and colors and you know, and extra sensitivity and expansion of your senses and feeling. But at some point, because you've done all this diet and all this training, you know, the journey shift and you're able to look at the participant into the trance. So it's not that you open your eyes and you look into people's body. You have your eyes closed and you can see the energy of the people and the quality of their energy and how it is built. So, um, you know, uh, it's like Alex Gray painting, for example. You see that beautiful lines of color, you know, or the aura. It's kind of how you would perceive someone. And if there is presences or uh, spiritual movements or dark shapes or broken lines, it shows you that there is imperfection in, in the energy flow of, of a participant. Because you are that expansive, expanded, sensitive uh, self with the effect of the ayahuasca, you can tap in that energy. And you do that with the singing, or you do that with energy work. You do that uh, you know, with, with your presence, with sopladas. And this is how the healing operates, basically you you influence energetically the other during the journey. Mm -hmm.